So Mike Rice was the basketball coach at Rutgers. Now everybody's seen the tapes already of him throwing the ball at the kids' heads, uh, calling them the F word and uh, fairies as well, and just about everything you can imagine, verbal abuse, but also literally physical abuse, pushing, shoving, etc. Now uh, there's a little bit of salt in those wounds because we just found out that after he got fired, he got a bonus. <laughs> so now wait, he got fired for being abusive and he gets a hundred thousand dollar bonus. Now was he a good coach and you think, well, all right, at least there's a bonus. No, three years, his record, 44 and 51, a disaster. He's a bad coach, he's a bad guy, and he gets it anyway. Now here's a more insult to injury. Turns out that the athletic director, if he fired him the minute that he saw the tapes, he wouldn't owe him any bonus. He, he waited to the end of the season, and once the season was completed, that's why they owed him the bonus. And then as soon as the tapes became public, he was fired anyway. So there's a disaster on, the, on top of disaster. But you're thinking, now what kind of a loony would support that guy? That's going to be nobody, right? In fact, my old friend Dale Peterson is probably thinking the same thing. Who on earth would support such a dummy? And why? Why? Well, let's find out, because it turns out the Fox News guys liked Mike Rice and thought, well, you know what? Maybe, uh, maybe that's the way you should coach. Let's find out. And I'm watching this, and I'm thinking, all right, I don't like it. He kicked one player there. I, but on the other hand, you know what? I kind of like old-fashioned discipline on the other hand. Listen, it's time to toughen up. I talk about the wussification of America, wussification of American men. This is it. I maybe, maybe we need a little more discipline in society, and maybe we don't have to be a bunch of wimps for the rest of our lives. This is an example of our culture in free fall, and I'm saying because he got fired, not because what he did. Look, you don't want to play for that coach anymore? Then leave. You don't have to stay there. <laughs> but I think that there should be scrutiny of the people who blow the whistle on these kind of things. I can understand. Stop hitting them, maybe. But I like the intensity. I like the drive. I like that he's pushing those kids and that he, he runs a tight ship. I got a paddle in high school. I did something wrong once in gym, and they take a paddle. It's a sawed-off bat, a flat on one side, and they whack you in the butt across the back of the legs. I'll tell you what, I never messed around in that class again. You ever get hit? <laughs> With more than a, See? a belt. <laughs> and I turned out, you turned out okay. I'm sure the left thinks that we are a warped mind. Yeah. Actually, we do, yes. <laughs> Partly because you're supporting this maniac who the country now thinks is one of the, you know, the worst examples of coaching they've ever seen. And by the way, uh, he runs a tight ship. I mean, isn't that the conservative mindset right there? It doesn't matter what the results are. The, uh, the, I forgot the question, but the answer is violence. Now remember, the guy was 44 and 51. He was a loser. It didn't work. All that abuse didn't work at all, but it's abuse for the sake of abuse for the right wing. Why are they supporting the guy? They're like, ah, he was violent. Oh, I, I used to get hit, and I liked it when I got hit, and so other people should like it when they get hit. And that's how they got to be who they are. I mean, if you want to do an ad against beating your kids, just show these characters. Show Sean Hannity, Michelle Malkin, Eric Bowling, go, you want your kids to turn out like that? Now, what kind of a dummy would support someone like that? And why? JR? Uh, I'm calling bullshit. These rich, yeah, overpaid uh, conservatives, I mean, yeah, they got spanked their own up. I guarantee you. Now, these are college kids. They're 18 and up. I guarantee you if their kids are getting shoved around by some coach in school and they saw tapes of it, they wouldn't be like, well, son, you got to toughen up. Stop being a wuss. No, they'd be like, you're pushing my son around? Do you know who I am? Oh, you can't push yeah. my son around. You're oh. going down. You can believe oh. you did that to my son. Oh, oh no, 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 J.R. Jackson, you nailed it. Imagine some guy throws a basketball at Eric Bowling's son's head. You think he's going to be like, way to go, coach. I hope you punch him next time. Hell no. He's going to come down like a ton of bricks on that guy. Total frauds. By the way, Sean Hannity, God, they just don't do any research on Fox News. It's like, well, then why didn't any of the kids leave? They did. Three of them left. He, they lost one of their best players because he was tired of being abused. <laughs> it's a fact-free zone. They're amazing. And did you notice right in the middle there, by the way, this is one of, one of my favorite parts. Michelle Malkin said the whistleblower, the coach who turned Mike Rice in, should have been punished. Well, first of all, he was let go. What more punishment do you need? Oh, they should have taken a sawed-off back to him. Okay, a bunch of psychopaths, man.